And not predictable zigzags, random zigzags. So you can't predict when you're going to turn. Yeah, that's a day I'm never getting back. Oh, hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, well, it's too bad, huh? Schizo. Oh, schizo, schizo. Speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. <laughs> Fuck. Where are the zombies? They're outside. We're in a camp right now. They have a surprising number of motorcycles. I wonder about the freak sometimes, you know? Like, do they feel pain? Anything? Job in progress. It's sort of like The Walking Dead. There has to be a point in The Walking Dead when the gasoline that's in cars goes bad. And then they're just out of gas. Unless they start making more. How long can like gas be good inside a tank? Like, maybe a couple years? Maybe less than a year? I don't know. Assuming that's like, it's like a decent tank. Yeah, so I don't know how they're getting all this gas. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. There's some shenanigans going on. Well, uh, we could find some fuel, I'm sure. I don't want to go out at night, so let's rest until daytime, because nighttime is scurry. And not to mention bullets. They are shooting so many damn bullets in Walking Dead. Left and right having wars. There has got to be a breaking point on bullets. Somewhere. Sometime, somewhere. Joni, you will never know how much Boozer misses you. Yeah, like, they're not super hard to make or remake, but getting all that gunpowder requires a lot of manual labor. <laughs> you two were always so close. Yeah, you really were like a brother and sister. It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. Yeah, and zombies too. Like, if, there's got to be a point do it. where every zombie out there, their body becomes so rotted that they, they can't move anymore. There has to be a point where this corpse that's sitting there rotting because it's dead. It's moving and animated, but it's dead. Eventually rots to the point of being unusable. Like, if they can just survive to a certain point in time, most of the zombies would fall over. Hey, what's up, man? Yo. Hey, yeah. What is that on the table? What are you even doing? Got some ears here, okay. That's all I got for now. Those are ears. Oh my god. Bye. They I just realized I'm walking around with a big pouch of bloody ears. Ugh. You need something? Hey, how's life? I don't even know where to start with this thing. Shit. No idea how to fix it. Looking for anything in particular? Yeah, real life scientists have um 
Oh, noise reduction. What else can I get you? I had studied the science of zombies, and there's so many things that just could not work. I'll be here if you need me. Take hours. See you around. The only way zombies could work IRL is if, like, the zombie was somewhat alive still. Not reanimated dead, but, like, mindless zombie. Something more like the 28 Days Later zombie versus a reanimated corpse kind of thing. Yeah, like, it's basically a human of rabies. But then it would have to do everything a human does. Eat, breed, subscribe to Twitch Prime, by clicking the sub button, all kinds of stuff. Man, if I could get zombies to subscribe to Twitch Prime, that would be like the best. Then everyone in chat would have Danny modes and I'd be like, yay! Give me that Dan shame. Someone gave 4,000 bits of goat? Do you, do you mean 400? Oh, wait, no. 4,000 from X Tanky. Ooh. 4,000 bits with 400 extra because they used bleed purple bit. Thank you very much. Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm going to be gone for a while. I'm going to need you to cover for me. Skiz is going to wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh... Hell. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Oh, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, bring him back. He likes balloons. That's a long way to go on foot. I'll figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me, or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Deacon out. Oh, what the, oh, Jesus. Well, better have a look around. Yes. Deke, heard you tracked down Eric Lynch. Oh, yeah, Mike. I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're going to have a trial. You'll get a chance to tell his side of it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. Yeah. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Dink. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. I'm kind of sad that Iron Mike isn't made out of actual iron. Like Iron Man. Boos, are you there? Yeah. How you doing, brother? As always, you still out there chasing choppers? Yeah. Figure out what the hell they're up to yet. Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. I love you, 3000 hey, chat. I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by. Said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, I'll pass that along. Later. Runners! No, you don't. Ash, you know, I love you about, what, like 60 to 900? If the loading times were improved, I'm not feeling it very much. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. This is O'Brien. Are you there? 
Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your Hi, ass. Hi, Nader Gator. It's nothing. Like I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I need to hear you. I got too close. I almost got caught. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's. It's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you wanted to spy on the guy wearing the white spade? Squad coming. A bunch of ten soldiers marching in a row. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Clear. Yep. That's clear. right. You boys go on about your business. LZ's clear. Like me. Is this game worth buying? In my opinion, it's one of the better zombie games that come out in a while. Well, but we've had a long slew of bad ones, though, so keep that in mind. Gonna have to make him turn. I don't know what happened there. What time is it? What's wrong with your system? Oh, here we go. Note 2068. Another subject exhibiting the morphology of stage 2 infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than. Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. It'd be pimping. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on. Shit, I thought they were all... You know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. No oh, shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're... Almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but... Most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. That's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of meeting us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. That guy is being a, a problem. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Stop talking out loud! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. Come on out! Make the this easier on both of us! Or female. What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman, and no, I didn't catch your name. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. That was what we call a trap. He's, because he, if he, now that he said a woman, he'd be like, how dare you assume? 
He's gonna hang up and never talk to him again. Moments of lucidity. I remember. I have, I have strong suspicions about that woman hey, Ricky, researcher. You send some men to go out and her yeah. voice. Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if he didn't tell him where the seeds were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah. You know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. Oh, I we need some fuel. <sighs> oh, that road's collapsed. Great. Deke, this is Tucker. Stop by. I've got work for you. All right. Uh, hey, okay. Mrs. I'll see if I can make time. Gnome lady. Out. Uh, what did, what did the, the lady say about what happened to her mother? I can't remember if she mentioned that or not. Remember the father and brother. I can't remember what happened to her mother. Oh my god, another Twitch Prime sub, Winkabus. Thank you so much. Thank you for subbing Twitch Prime. What is going to be your first Danny moat? Hmm. Tough decision. What's it gonna be? We have Dan Good! Look at that smile! Good choice. Spread in love and chat. Okay, we need some fuel. We're almost out. I'm gonna have to pay for it, unfortunately. But looking to buy, I hope. A lot of Having money. Having a look. Is that okay? Oh, shit. You really need a lot of fuel. Yeah, bro. Sure. You're All late. right. Try to make forever a day or two, will ya? See you around. Bro. I was in my classroom when. I have a question for chat. You know. Do you think card games can ever truly be a legitimate eSport because of the variance of RNG? Like, it's extremely possible because of how random generation is to have a really good player get a horrible draw three times in a row. And it'd be not his fault. I don't know if you can, like, ever truly have that kind of be an esport and it's something in a game that has that much randomness to it. Yeah, same with Magic Together. There's too much randomness involved. Hearthstone even more so. A deer dead. Which way? Back on track. Last time I followed this, ended up being absolutely nothing worth stalking. I mean, like, yeah, like, they can be fun tournaments and stuff, but can they ever hey, really be considered like a standardized, yeah, I can tell like, esports thing? Or. Maybe sports, just like what the hell a true test strength? of skill.
Come look at me, please. Okay, guys, you need to stop. You need to stop. Yeah, like they they can card games can definitely be entertaining and fun to watch and stuff. But when there's randomness involved, even with in magic with what if you top deck all of your 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 uh, manas and you have don't ever draw a card through the whole game <laughs> or stuff like that. Like that that can happen. Hold on, hold on. Alright, here you go, bro. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... Yeah, camp! What camp? Show me! Where? <laughs> oh god, um... Let's go for the super trust boost, I guess. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. I was a goner. Thank you. Thank you, man. I, th I thought it was over. There's not Smetanol non magic. Thank you. Thank you. Tell him it was St. John. Deacon. They know what. Okay, yeah. keep running. Stay out of sight. Keep running, brother. Yeah, to try to control the RNG, they like usually do best of three to help control against that, but even that's not enough. I don't know. It's fine if you guys think it is. I, I just think it's it's hard to like test skill in a game that has randomness based on draws. Alright. Let's see now. I think I'm accidentally 100%ing this without even realizing it. Like, I've been clearing everything on the map as I go. That's because we're doing damn good here. <laughs> I've never been to that farm yet. Or even up here. Let's take a look, see, see what's over there while we're driving by it. Could be candy. Or zombies. Probably zombies. Well, tomorrow's gonna be a Kickstarters, guys. On Madrinus Monday. And Monday Monday. Oh God! That is some bullshit. Who sets up a line on the on like that? You could have recreated that moment from that one creepy movie I saw where they're on a ship. They're all dancing, and then like a, a wire cuts everyone in half. That shit was creepy as fuck. Yeah, I even cursed. That's that nasty. Yeah. That scene was like, ugh. I've seen a lot of horror stuff, but that was one of the what's up there for one of the most nasty just the concept okay <laughs> do you remember when Hollywood used to make like original movies and not just remake everything they've already made those are good times. Nothing. Could use some more fuel. I should know I fueled up recently, so we're fine. Can grab that alarm clock. 
Why is... Why the hell is a horseshoe symbol the symbol for alarm clock? I'm trying to figure that one out. That one confuses me. Hmm. Alarm clock. Horseshoe. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we are a little injured now because of those dickheads. Let's see what I can do. Okay. I think we can pump gas at this gas station. So we might as well top it or top ourselves off. Since we were forced to stop because of a literal tourist trap. we go. Can't beat the price. Yeah, the pump is still active many years later. I watched The Quiet Place last night for the first time. Did not like that movie. I thought it was way overhyped. Not that it was bad, just it wasn't nearly as good as everyone was expecting. Everyone made it out to be uh, a quiet place. There were so many like moments. I'm just like, "What are you doing? Why well, let this child walk by himself behind you for a hundred feet? D is no one watching him? Why have a baby? Why would you have a baby in, in, in this environment? You know it's gonna cry. You're an idiot." If you know that you can be next to something that makes a lot of noise, why not have stuff that just makes stuff make noise all the time? Why not live in the waterfall? Move next to the waterfall. <laughs> Boom, done. So many parts of the movie just made me like yell at the screen. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Honestly, I did like. I did like the part where she's in labor and the monster is like attacking. I was like, damn, that's a tough woman. She's. It's a tough woman. No, they could definitely live their belt cannon. You just traveled in the day to the farm and do the farm stuff. You don't have to sleep there. Everyone lives in the next to the waterfall where it's super loud. And then you walk during the day and do your farm stuff over there. I actually liked Bird Box way better than um, A Quiet Place. I thought it was a more entertaining movie. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I enjoyed Bird Box. I thought it was fun. You know, it has a fair share of stupid stuff, too. But I, I was genuinely more creeped out by, like, the people showing up that worship the monsters and stuff versus just the monster that hears you. And I find the concept of never being able to look outside to be more scary than having to be quiet.
Yeah, like, think, think ha having to be quiet is so much easier than having to be blind. Why would you bang that? Why did he bang that open? I'm confused. I told him to open the door. He bangs the damn thing open. Uh, yeah, melee is just better in this game than than ranged weaponry is. Very much, ranged weaponry is just quite terrible, especially with a controller. Oh, now he opens it quiet. Good. He did. Okay, then. Repair what we can. Let's go ahead and heal up a bit. Dabby wabby, thank you. Anything in this barn over here? A lot of stuff, but can I take any of it? Nope. I was already in this barn. Uh, why the weapons degrading so fast? Because that's what these types of games do. Is you build a weapon and it dies in a few hits. So you have to build another one. Some farm, nothing's really here. We could see what's across the street, maybe thing. Yeah, it's nighttime. Nighttime is when there's a higher chance of hordes coming around. Because they, they hibernate during the day, then the swarms come out at night. And that's when shit gets dicey. Is the State of the K with motorcycles? No. State of the K was very boring, especially the second one. I got bored of that one so fast. This one I've already played for a lot longer. Around. Is that a chicken poster? Hell yeah. Farmer market poster. Yeah, 
Yeah, this game has quite a few bugs for sure. Nothing game breaking yet though. Just some mostly display bugs or whoa, awkward awkward behavior of the enemies. Not Bethesda level yet. Raiders, damn it. What are you waiting to jump me? Huh? Raiders, what? Found some fuel. A can of fuel. I'll put this by the door. Oh, uh oh. Oh, God. Kill her for me. Kill him. Fight each other. You are so dead, ma'am. Oh, you just got wrecked. got so wrecked she wouldn't even have a weapon okay is that everything looks like it Um, ten, anniver ten year anniversary is in August. August 1st. Ten years of Dan's gaming! Yay! Where did I drop that fuel from earlier? Visible torch? No, there's no torches in this game, but there are flashlights. More scrap. No congrats yet. It's not for another four months. Just get your Twitch Primes ready to save for that day. And we'll freaking break it. What's the first thing I ever streamed? Um, the Watchmen movie on Justin TV. It was like my own little TV station. I liked it. It was fun. I could control what movie came on. It was... Ow. 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 I was looking at chat. I was looking at chat. Ow. Ow. This is why you don't chat and drive. Let's see. Patched up. Don't chat and drive, guys. Let's say iron butt. It's so snowy right now. Winter has come, and so have I. God damn it. We're 
back in Ripper country, it looks like. get his bike out there I can only drive one bike at a time tow it on a motorcycle no way to keep it like steady upright without holding the handlebars. Why are you in my camp, you piece of shit? This is mine. My house. Who the hell do they think they is? Always need this. Anything here? Okay, we need the scrap. Baseball bat. All right, let's go ahead and go up to our bed and sleep this morning is much better for traveling I'm just gonna uh, grab some shot here. I saw someone wait don't kill not right here don't kill me while I'm sleeping where do they come from Airbnb it. I, was ready to go back. I would feel so weird using that service. Just sleeping in some stranger's house. Sounds so scary to me. Like, I don't, like, renting a vacation house is fine, but sleeping in a place where someone is sleeping in the middle there themselves is just this weird concept to me. Like, usually you're staying, like, in someone's spare bedroom or on the couch or something. That That's weird. Hi, stranger. I'm gonna sleep here. I know some pe people do it, and they're they're fine. That's great, everything. But it just weirds me out. I would I would never use that service without like Who was that? someone like buddies or something with guns to keep me safe. Good morning. Sleep well. Now, how am I going to get both of the bikes back? This is going to be... If I... I don't know how this is going to work. Just unless someone drives me back over there. Huh? 
Hostels with mass bunks are different. Hostels are weird, too. But a little less weird since there's so many people around. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You, you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. Yeah, that's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. How's he gonna break? wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? You're welcome, Dick. Ricky out. What? Why didn't she just pay them to go get his bike? Then I wouldn't have to go over there at all. I have to keep Boozer alive. He's my brother. Custom accent. Well, at least that got that, those guys had to complete the quest too themselves. How's it going? Do motorcycles have keys? Like, did they steal my bike? Hotwire? Fix this. Yep. My husband used to collect tools the way I. Here for your bike. Yes, ma'am. Do I have a quest? I have to go back to Titty or Tick, Ticky or whatever it is. We also have these infestations down here we could deal with. Right down the way. First one. How is it going? Hold on. I'll get it. Yeah, it's like how they how did they get my bike over here without the keys? Unless they hotwired it. St. John. This is Mark Copeland and Deacon St. John. Let's have a tow truck. Hey, Cope, what's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That is a bad, bad, bad dog. Bad dog. Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing. Is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? <clears throat> Look, Copus is all really fascinating, but uh. Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! <sighs> There's another one. Time to burn. There's his deep breath voice acting again. He takes a deep breath before saying any of his lines while on the bicycle. You there? Yeah, yeah. Addy, what's up? Yeah, I'm Addy, I'm here. Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Yeah, I'll get up there Anything in a wrong? second. 
No, I just need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's zombies coming out now, so I'm gonna kill them. It's because someone f um, tooted in the recording booth and it was extra bad, so he's out of breath. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it's so weird. That I, it must have been the direction of the voice acting, because in cutscenes, the main character sounds so fine and normal. It's just whenever he's on the bike, he does. He sounds like a different person. Yeah, yeah. So let me guess. You went up to the mountain and you. <laughs> Like he's, like he's got bad heartburn or something. I don't know. And sometimes he'll be on the bike and talk perfectly normal. And other times he's shouting. And other, t and other times he's out of breath. And it's all over the place. It's not a lot of consistency with it. It is nice of them to wait their turn to kill me. Versus just swarming all at once. Because that would be rude. Could you mate with a freaker? Probably. They're they're still alive. Their bodies are alive. Yes. Gotta be right around here. It sounds like sounds like their brains are kind of messed up. Sort of like they have rabies. Let's go. Okay. Hello, ma'am. There you go. Get wrecked. Whoa, a Twitch Prime sub, Lady Cor 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 the Night Wolf. Thank you for sub with Twitch Prime. That is a long name, but no capitalization. Call me Rena. I will never remember that, but I will try. MMU. 
Wonder what Thank Nero you for stopping. behind this time. Oh, a Nero station. I didn't even realize. Cool. Well, look for speakers. Get rid of all the speakers. What? Another Twitch Prime sub. Jive Turkey. Thank you very much. Okay, we found them. Found that ready. I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. It's gotta be right here. Another one. Yeah, time to light it up. Oh, God damn it. Fuse blown. Have to find another one. Got to find our way over it somehow. All right, what have we got? Probably a fuse here. <laughs> Still got this. Well, it's more than likely in there where we got to put the the fuel. So we'll throw it in there. No, no, it's back that way. Where is this trail going? Or is it going the other direction? Well, it must be in there. <laughs> What is it? What is it? How am I finding this game so far? Well, the way I find it is I go to the directory and go over to game days gone and then there I found it. Thank you, you're welcome. Fuse is broken, so I have to fix that. Why is there music playing? Nope, wrong direction. I just see one dude over there. Yeah, we have to, we still have to deal with the uh, the fuse before we have to worry about speakers, but. We'll get it in a minute. I really need some scrap. Some ammo in here. 